Hey guys, welcome back. Jim here. Right now we're going to take a look at another iBuy Invicta, this time in the Lupa design. The Invicta Lupa has been incredibly popular and with a million different variations. However, it might still be out of the reach for a lot of people financially. Here with iBuy Invicta, they're replacing that Swiss made movement with a Japanese Citizen Miyota movement, making it a lot easier to afford. You're still getting a beautiful genuine leather strapped on in a unique pattern with the contrast stitching and that color is going to tie into the subdials depending on the choice you're looking at. And take a look how the color of the stitching matches up with the subdial color in that dial. This is a classic beautiful look. We all know the Lupa. It's world famous. Now you can more easily afford to maybe amass a larger collection. Now let's take a look at the size on the wrist because it's not the smallest lupa, but it's not the largest lupa either. For those that may remember the dragon lupa, this is pretty much the same size at just about 49 millimeters overall. So you've got the classic look of a lupa without the expense of a Swiss made or Swiss movement lupa. This is the least expensive way you can get that look on the wrist. Now you've had a chance to see this Lupa design on the wrist and get an idea for the curvature and the overall size. Check out all of the available color options right over at worldofwatches.com.